Hello and welcome to today's practice. This practice will be focused around opening up the hips, so it's perfect to do after a workout or after a day of sitting. We'll come down into child's pose. Your knees can go a little wider than your hips. Arms reach out in front of you. Forehead kisses the mat. Take this opportunity to ground down and to deepen your breath. We'll walk our hands over towards the right side of the mat. Hips stay where they are. Just the arms reach to get a stretch through the left side of the body. And breathe deeply. Your hands walk over to the left side of the mat. Your forehead rests onto the mat. And you breathe deep. With each exhale, feel yourself getting a little heavier, maybe letting go of something that you've been carrying with you throughout the day that you no longer need. You're letting your body know that it's time to down-regulate and unwind. Crawl your hands back into center and we'll come up onto hands and knees. As you inhale, you'll arch your back, and as you exhale, you'll round your back, taking some cat-cows, really feel into the movement, and let your breath carry you between the poses here. Inhaling, arching the spine, looking up, and exhaling, pulling the belly button back towards the spine. Your hands will walk in front of you and you'll drop your hips down for hanging cobra. You can look up towards the sky and you have the option to elevate your knees, pressing into the tops of your feet. You look over the right shoulder and over the left shoulder, pressing strongly into your hands to support you, being mindful not to lock your elbow. Tuck your toes under and lift your hips up to downward facing dog. Pedal out your feet and feel into the backs of your legs. Keep your breathing deep as you find some movement in this downward facing dog. Walk your hands slowly back towards your feet and cross your hands, grabbing onto opposite ankles with opposite hands, kind of making an X shape with your arms. As you inhale, come halfway up. And as you exhale, cross your arms the opposite way. Making sure your head and neck are still loose here and relaxed. Breathe. Inhale, come halfway up, fingertips to shins. Exhale, come down and walk your hands out to downward facing dog. Your right leg lifts up, bending at the knee, make small circles and reverse. Pull your knee towards your chest, step it in between your hands at the top of your mat, reach your arms up, coming into a low lunge. Your gaze can lift up towards your hands and your arms Come down, hands reach for each other behind your lower back and press down, opening through the chest. Oppositional lines of energy here. Hands reaching down, chest reaching up. Breathe. Release your hands. Bring your fingertips to the mat surrounding your front leg. You can stay on your fingertips or use a block here, coming into a runner stretch. Or you can flex the front foot and start to slowly move your hips back and down, coming deeper into the stretch. I like to grab onto the outside of the right foot here and breathe deeply into the backs, back of the right leg. Release and come up. Hands come to the inside of the right foot, coming to lizard pose. You can come down onto your elbows if you would like. Find your edge. If it feels good to have your knee down, you can stay there. And if it's in your practice, or if you feel like you wanna try it today, reach your right arm up towards your right side and grab towards your right foot. 
and breathe deep and release. Right hand comes down and you can walk your foot over to the left side of the mat coming into pigeon pose. On the fingertips, you lift your chest up and slowly start to melt your heart down towards the mat. Let your forehead rest against the mat and make sure your hips are even here. Sometimes it helps to have um, a cushion or a pillow of the sort to put under the right hip if you notice that you are uneven. And take a few deep breaths here. Feel free to exhale through the mouth to really let go of any tightness and tension that you're carrying. This pose can be intense, so be gentle as you come out of it, lifting your chest up onto your fingertips, gaze up towards the sky, tuck your back toes, and step yourself back to downward facing dog. Left leg comes up, bend at the knee, make small circles, and reverse. Knee comes towards the chest, step in between your hands, reach your arms up for low lunge, looking up towards the sky, Hands reach down and come to clasp behind your lower back. Chest broadens, a slight lift in your chin if that feels good. You could either have the back toes curled under or toes flat against the mat, your choice. Release the hands and come into your runner's stretch. So taking the same variation that you took on the other side, whether that was on fingertips, block, or if you went all the way back and reached for the opposite side of your foot, which would be the left side. Breathe deep. If you're far back with your hips, it can really be intense, especially for those with those back toes tucked under. So find your edge and don't push too far. Chances are the body's tight after a workout and after a long day, so take it easy. Come back, hands come inside of the left foot into our lizard pose and find the same variation that you found on the other side, whether that was down on your forearms, up on your hands, or if you drop the back knee, feel free to drop it. Reach back with your left hand, reaching towards the right foot, kind of turning your gaze to look towards that back foot breathing deeply wherever you are and if you're not quite here at a point where you can catch the foot that's totally fine still take the twist and breathe your hand comes back onto the mat and you press yourself up i'm sorry you take your foot over to the right side for pigeon finger stay up on your fingertips lift your chest and walk your chest down, letting your forehead relax against the mat. Taking some slow, deep breaths here, sending your breath into your hips and your glutes, your lower back. Imagining as though the breath is widening this area and putting somewhat of a downward pressure on this area. Slowly start to come out of it, walking your hands back towards you. Lift your chest, coming on your fingertips. Tuck the back toes with your hands flat against the mat. Come to downward facing dog and pedal your legs out again. Step or hop to the top of your mat. We're coming down into yogi squat, malasana. So your heels are in, your toes are slightly out and your elbows can press against the knees. Hands come to a prayer position and place your hips down. Center yourself on your mat. We'll cross the right leg over the left, coming into a twist. Right arm reaches up and back. Turn your chin and your head to look over that shoulder, the right shoulder, keeping your spine lifted and breathing into the twist.
and we'll untwist. So we'll put the right leg straight out in front of us and take the left leg over the right. And we'll twist to the opposite side. Gazing over your left shoulder, making sure your spine is nice and straight. Untwisting, coming back towards the center, your arms reach above your head, and with a flat back, you'll reach down towards your toes. Wherever you can comfortably reach onto is fine. Doesn't have to be your feet. If it's your shins, that's fine. If you have your hands clasped onto your feet, you can start to round your back, pulling your belly button in, feeling into the round shape of the spine and rolling yourself up to a straight spine and then down to a ball shape. Knees roll into your chest, grab onto your shins and roll out your lower back. So make some small circles in a direction and then the opposite. And let your knees fall to the right. Your left arm can be out in a goal post or straight shape. And you can be looking towards that left hand. Your right hand can be on top of your top knee. And we'll guide our knees up to center and let our knees drop over to the left side, looking over the right arm. Using our left hand on top of the top knee to just apply some gentle pressure down. The breath is really important in this twist. Breath into the glutes and the lower back. Feel free to let out any sighs. Bring your legs up to happy baby. That's with the knees bent, grabbing onto the outsides of the feet. You can experiment around here by straightening out one leg at a time if you would like. And bring your feet to touch, knees out to the sides into a diamond shape. Supta Baddha Konasana. Knees are out, palms are facing up in a receptive position and just breathe. You have the option to stay here or to extend your legs out and take a traditional Shavasana with straight legs and straight arms. Let go of your attention to breathing. And just allow yourself to be. start to bring some movement back into the body. You can wiggle your fingers and toes, bring your arms up above your head, and bring yourself into a ball and start to roll out your spine if that's all right, up and down if it feels good, and come to a seated position. Into an easy pose, you'll put your hands together at your chest. Sweep your arms up overhead, bring your hands down again through center to meet again at your chest and send yourself an enormous amount of gratitude for doing this stretch. I hope that you feel some more ease in your body. And if you enjoyed today's practice, like, comment, let me know how it went, and subscribe. Thank you so much.